everybody, Corey here from Part of Pro. We're here with our tester, Trung, and we are going to check out the Unicore IXO third-party software options using the new pod. So let's check this thing out. We are using the Unicore IXO, which is up in the ceiling. We are in our Stealth Elite uh, setup here, retractable setup. And uh, Trung's going to open up the pod, top right-hand corner there. And this pod is great. It can allow you to... Uh, connect to the software without having to open up the view software. So we're going to start off with uh, Pro T Play here and uh, click on play. Now when you click on play, the uh, it just says that it's initiated um, and we need to connect it. So we're going to open up Chrome and Chrome we've got a shortcut right to the Pro T Play and hopefully it has remembered our username it has not so we've seen this a couple of times where it has not remembered our username and that's good hopefully mr chung remembers the password is and then even though we click on remember me we it's on then we still have had to enter it again so that's okay We'll uh, hopefully get around that eventually, but uh, he's just going to pick one of the options in here. We got like demolition range. And uh, once you get into that there, Trung, if you want to hit full screen so everybody can see that. <clears throat> now the nice thing is on the right hand side here, you could see that pod where it said that it was ready. Um, so that's great that uh, we now know it's working. The IXO up top, actually we have the ball on the floor there in the right position but on the top the red the lights up top are nice and red that also lets us know that the system is ready same thing if if you're using the view so uh, always consistent we like that so Trung's just going to take a shot here on the demolition range it's just chaos in here and one grenade going off Oh, I didn't get the golf cart, but a uh, good try there. All right, so now let's say we're done with the Pro T play. We want to go on and play some creative golf. So he's just going to exit out of here. And just close that window and then close, close the pod. So one of the suggestions we made to Unicor is that instead of uh, clicking exit here, it would be nice if they just chose uh, end program so that we could, didn't have to open up the pod again. So now Trung's got to open up the pod again, no big deal. We're going to click on Creative Golf and hit play. It just would have been nice if we didn't have to close this and then reopen it. So now, same thing, Creative Golf. We It's uh, going and we are going to... It just comes up and prompts us for our uh, license managers there, just make sure it's good. We'll load up Creative Golf 3D here. On the bottom right, you'll see it says the golf simulation software adjusted for QED, um, but it also works with this IXO. This is a big thing, tracking device is successfully connected. And one of the things that we ran into is that if you're using TGC first, um, then you do need to end the TGC server through Task Manager. And we can show you that uh, in a little bit here. So first time is just gonna show you how to just take a quick shot on the dry range of Creative Golf 3D. There we go. Poor Trung, we've been making him do all sorts of shots today. He's been hitting balls for the last three hours, testing out systems and all that good stuff. So, okay, now uh, let's see. Instead of Creative Golf, we want to go check out the E6 software. So we're going to just exit out of here. And again, you go back to the pod, this will go back to the desk, and we hit exit, and we're going to end, it's ending the program, then we go up, click on the pod again, and we're going to go to E6. Now the one nice thing is we have E6 Connect and TGC for both uh, the QED and the IXO and don't have to have separate licenses for them. So if you are on the one computer and have uh, both systems then you can use it. Uh, probably not, you won't find that too often. Uh, we'll just click on continue that we just see an update on the E6 and uh, we'll just go right to the practice. Normally you would want to update uh, but just for the simplicity of the video, we're just going to skip that update there.
and just going to a flat range. So if you want to see any of those uh, the options for the ranges in any of the software, feel free to just pause the video and you can zoom in and check that out. So now we're all set up here. So same thing with the other one, the light came on, everything's grand there, and we got our shot. Perfection, all right, so. <clears throat> now you got a shot there, and we'll exit out of here, and we're gonna go check out the TGC. So same thing, we gotta exit out of the pod, exit the program within the pod, and then exit the pod. Once that's closed, open up the pod, and we're going to pick the TGC, or the golf club. Now it's the golf club and it uh, will connect to the golf club. We're going to open that up. And he's just got to hit start game. And we've got both the original golf club and 2019, but we're going to go to the 2019 here. <clears throat> And 2019 just has the improved graphics and play features and all that good stuff. Uh, the, the older version just has more courses until they've got more updated on 2019. But still, so many courses to choose from in 2019. We love that. So we're just going to go to training there and go to the driving range. Right, and in that simple, we got through all of the software, uh, able to be up and running in no time, in just minutes. So it's been absolutely fantastic how they have this done so that we can get through all those software, play all the different software options, have a lot of fun, and uh, get our analytics. Now, again, with the pod, you still have that option to use the view software instead um, to run that in the background or on a different monitor. So some guys will want to have their analytics off on a different monitor on the view and then go to the third party software in there. So guys, that's it for the third party software. I'm, if you stay, just stay watching. I'm going to show you the trick around how to close off the server. So in case you run TGC first, but I would imagine a lot of you guys right now are just, there's the software and you're happy with that. So you can always visit us, visit us at www.par2pro.com. And uh, like I said, if you want to watch this little trick here, yeah, we can exit out of here, Trung. Uh, just keep watching here. So we ran into this problem when we went from TGC to CG3, so we're going to do the same thing. Oh, we'll just hit cancel out of there. So we're going to show you what the error comes up with. Go into the, uh, the uh, pod. Sorry, Trung. We're going to go into the Creative 3D, and when we went to play, then we'd open up the uh, Creative Golf 3D there. It would give us an error. <clears throat> So it loads up this initial stage, and then it goes to look for the tracking device, and it says no handle to tracking device SDK. So you won't be able to run the Unicore IXO at this point, so we just have to hit to exit out of there. And we're going to exit out of this. So the key is if you go from one to the next, you want to go into your task manager before you open up this the program, but we just wanted to show you the error that we were getting. So we go into task manager and go down to find the server. So that's a pro T server. It just says server, bottom left hand corner there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And um, we just want to end task on that. There we go. So we're going to close out a task manager here, open up the pod. <clears throat> now, obviously, if you had restarted your computer, it would have done the same thing because that'll shut down the, the TGC server. But what's happening on that error is that it's thinking that TGC is still running. 
so it doesn't want to run Creative Golf 3D. So in, in that respect, you cannot run multiple software off of the uh, IXO other than the view software with the third party software. And there we go. So now it says connected and we're connected. Guys, that's it for the Unicore IXO. Thanks for watching. For all, as always, for more information on golf simulators, Unicore, anything else, you can always visit us at www.par2pro.com or call us toll free 877-417-2161. Thanks, N.